Ladies and gentlemen, band lovers watching from around the world, it's time. Time for yet another band review, this time going over the brand new Alpine Loops for the Ultra 2 line. Now in case you've been living under a rock, there was a massive buff to all the Ultra bands. That buff being that you can now purchase them in your choice of silver titanium or black titanium to match your desired Apple Watch Ultra case and color. This is such a neat feature and something we never really expected from Apple, but here we are. So in today's video, I'm going to be modeling these suckers on a variety of different Apple Watch colors, casing materials, and of course, I try to mix it up with the watch faces to keep things refreshed and up to speed. Before we begin, veterans of my channel already know this, but in case you're new, there will be a hidden band sprinkled somewhere throughout this video. The first three people to spot it and comment down the correct timestamp will win an entry into my hidden band giveaway. If you happen not to comment in time, don't worry, there is still another chance to win in my seasonal band giveaway. For instructions on how to enter that, you'll definitely want to stick around until the end of the video for official rules of entry. But now that we have the introductions out of the way, it's finally time to roll that intro and get this show on the road. Alright, Bandaholics, this Alpine Loop style has been with us since the introduction of the OG Ultra 1 three years ago and come in at a staggering $99 per band as a standalone purchase. So if you want to snag all three, you'll have to be prepared to hand over three Benjamins or you can hand your credit card over plus interest to collect all three. Historically, these bands have only came in the silver variant, but now the inclusion of those black lugs makes for some standout and very unique new combinations. And for the record, these bands will fit any 46mm Series 10 watches, although the thickness of this specific style of bands is almost as thick as the entire Series 10 casing, so that may put some people off. Anyway, starting us off right, we have the Navy Alpine Loop. Similar to the Navy found on the Trail Loop, the dark navy here is a dark and mysterious blue, with some almost black slash light gray undertones that heavily accent it when paired up with the black Ultra 2. The portion of the band that actually attaches to our titanium G-hook buckle is a lighter, more eccentric blue, while the background is a couple shades darker. This is why, even with the classic silver titanium offering, the versatility of this blue color is unparalleled. It goes great with just about any outfit too. But if I had to choose, I would definitely have to give it up for the black offering as it looks so sleek and when the sunshine hits that black ultra paired with this deep band just right, man, it is so nice, chef's kiss. It's such a cool combination that I'm sure plenty of band lovers will enjoy, and I'd honestly be a hater to give this anything less than a B, which is why I give it a B+, coming in at 8.8 .8 out of 10 on my official Bandaholic rating scale. Up next is Dark Green, and as its name suggests, this sucker is pretty dark. It has far been converted over to the dark side, and no, I don't mean Satanism, I mean that with the introduction of the Dark Watch, man, this band has just been elevated a whole letter grade. No kidding. I mean, don't get me wrong, the silver version of this looks kind of cool, pretty mid actually in my opinion, but paired with the black lugs and the black Apple Watch Ultra 2, it gives this band a distinct personality. Watch face selection is important on this one, but I kind of favor this band with the ultra modular watch faces. Here our background color is this fierce and rich dark pine green color, whereas the portion that catches on our titanium G hook is ever slightly lighter. It's way more noticeable though when outdoors. Overall, the black on dark green combination is a very nice complementing one and is great for those individuals who want a really cool band that isn't bright or flashy. This is an excellent choice for any and all band lovers and I have to give it a solid A, coming in at a 9.0 out of 10, a really wicked and cool band in my opinion. And last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, I know this will cause some commotion and is probably an unpopular opinion. But allow me to present to you my favorite new band for the entire new Ultra lineup. That's right, I'm talking about the Tan Alpine Loop with the black titanium lugs. I mean, what can I say here? This is one of those unicorn setups that no matter where you go, it could be to the library, you, it could be out at a restaurant or even a public restroom. Someone will inevitably compliment you on your band, no doubt about it. 
Some may call this a tacky combination, but hey, beauty is in the eyes of the beholder, and I am in love with this dark on light combination. I guess it's the contrasting nature of it all, but I simply love it. Our background color is this very easy on the eyes beige color, accented more by the portion that catches to our titanium G hook being featured in this awesome and rich sand like color. It blends subtle yellows, beiges, tans, and khaki blends that create such a stunning and radiant combination. The silver version looks alright, I guess, but it's the black version that steals the show. If you agree on how awesome this band is, especially when paired with the Black Ultra, let me know in the comment section below. But as far as my bandaholic rating skill goes, this has to mandatory be placed in the S tier of bands coming in at a 9.65 out of 10. Nearly a perfect band in my humble opinion. Okay band lovers, we are done with yet another batch, but we still have many more to go. We have the solo loops we still have to cover, the sport bands, the new Hermes bands, including the brand new coveted $999 Hermes band that I am so going to get for myself for Christmas, and many, many others. Only way to not miss out on the action is by hitting that subscribe button down below, which coincidentally is one of the steps to enter the seasonal band giveaway. I'm not sure if you are able to spot the hidden band in time. In the event you didn't, no worries, the giveaway instructions are pretty simple and easy to follow. Number 1, you must be subscribed to my channel with bells. I recommend the bells so that you can make it early and increase your chances of winning by spotting that hidden band. Step number 2, subscribe to any of my socials listed on screen right now. I usually am most active on Instagram, so follow me for more channel news, polls, and potentials for exclusive extra giveaways. And finally, for our comment question of the day, drop a comment down below letting me know what you're currently reading. I'm reading The Book of This Day in History, a super nerdy book outlining key historical events on every single day of the year, gifted to me for my birthday by someone very special. Thanks so much for this book, Nicole. I very much appreciate it. And if you happen to not be the reading type, tell me the title of the last book you remember reading. Please don't say the last book you read was in third grade. Good luck to all who enter. The giveaway winners will be announced via one of my live streams that I host twice per week on Wednesdays and Sundays. The giveaway winners will be announced on a Sunday stream on November 3rd, so make sure to jot it down in your calendar. That's it for now as I gotta continue working on some more awesome sauce content for you all, but please make sure you drink some water, get adequate amounts of sleep if you're able, and with that, I cannot wait to catch you all in my next video.